So can you tell me a little bit about how you got into the space of this adaptive contrast oxygen therapy? Well, the story goes back about, I don't know, a decade. I'd been, um, some people in my family got sick and then um, one of my kids had a neurological injury. And I had been looking at oxygen, you know, for personal use because I was getting old faster than I wanted to. My background is as a, you know, electrical engineer. So I always think sort of, I'll call it primitive in terms of power generation, plumbing, things like that that are more logistical in character, thinking about our cells as energetic devices. So if there's some problem why a cell can't make energy or heal, then you you want to go back and look at fixing what that is. And that's when I happened on the work of a really wonderfully brilliant German scientist named Manfred von Art. Okay. And he had spent, you know, many years um, building out and, you know, articulating how oxygen actually worked. And there were some very interesting things that he had discovered, including how stress events or how oxygen actually reversed the effects of stress. So when we started looking at you know various kinds of injuries, like it happened, you know, like as I was getting older, unwillingly, like okay, how can I how can I protect myself from the stuff that's going on, and how can I protect my family? And as I got into trying to understand that, it's like this is a plumbing problem. And what he had discovered is that if you install enough oxygen into the water part of the blood, then it works like a vascular decongestant. And this is exactly what Manfred von Arden documented in his book, which is if you can get the dissolved oxygen in the water, in the lungs, or in the body, the plasma, up to about four times normal, then you see stuff heal, even in congested areas. So like when we get into thinking about the brain and what happens to us as we get older, you know, there's a phenomenon I call ischemic dormancy, which is a big word. Basically, it means that something's happened that interfere with the blood supply to, you know, a tissue can be anywhere. And rather than dying, that tissue will just go dormant on to life. And what we started to see is that, you know, if you have a stress event or something like that, tissues will stay offline or stay dormant for a decade. Right, right. Or okay. three, a long time. And when you turn the oxygen back on, they just come back to life.